Hey guys, this is me, Steph, from Let's Talk, and this is basically where we're going to go over what happens in the most recent episode of The Walking Dead. So right now, just in case you guys are not caught up, um, I would suggest to stop right now and maybe skip this episode and probably just listen to the podcast that we had yesterday, which is the Red, Red Cup Top. So basically... I'm going to watch the episode right now, and when I get back, I'm going to be accompanied with Mikhail and Jordan, and we are going to talk about the episode of the the most recent episode of The Walking Dead, which is them. So I'll see you in just a bit. And we're back. Whoa. <laughs> That's Jordan. Wh- Mikhail. Whoa. whoa. And Heidi. Hi. Okay, guys. So what did you think about this? episode uh so this episode was a nice it was a nice breather after the last two that were just heartbreaking i i I also already on the intro i already said that there's gonna be spoilers so we could go ahead and say what happened the last episode really quick tyrese died it doesn't really matter yeah anyway (laughs) this was a nice a nice reprieve from the the drama that was the last two episodes so, and then we had some nice uh, character development going on here. Oh, there was a lot. I took notes. You, you, okay. Anyway, what were, what did your notes say? Okay. First of all, first note I'd like to say is, as of right now, well, in the beginning of the episode, um, Sasha, she's gone. <laughs> what do you mean? She like lost it. Mentally. She oh, yeah. was like well, mentally lost because, uh, um, you know, like everyone was splitting up and, um, basically, um, where I started, well, I noted that when they're on the bridge because it was supposed to, they weren't going to use any weapons really because they were just gonna, they didn't want to, what is it? Like basically overexert themselves Yeah. because they don't have water. They don't have food. It's been like what a week they said a week. A day and a half. Oh, okay. Never mind. That's too far. But, um, yeah, basically they were just pushing, like, they were just trying, they are on that bridge, and basically they were trying to just get out of the way for the zombies to just fall. Yeah. And Sasha just grabbed one, and then that's where it, like, then they had no choice but to fight, because then that's basically where the zombies got all rowdy and crap. And Sasha lost it because she almost stabbed Michonne, and she she, she cut Abraham. She cut yeah, she cut Abraham, and I was just like, dude, you are losing it. You're getting mad at the wrong people right, or you're um you're hurting the wrong people right now. <laughs> yeah, no. See, yeah. at at this point, I feel like Sasha doesn't even need to be there <laughs> at all. She's just right now. She's just broken. I just, it's, I don't know. I feel like she should be carefully watched. But then she's doing the annoying thing where she's like, I don't need anybody's help because blah, blah, blah. Yeah, because she's fucking mad. She just lost her brother, so she's going to be be like, like, I hear myself. Echo. Yep. Mikhail. What happened? We we can hear ourselves through your mic. Oh, that's weird. I didn't do it yesterday, right? Echo, go, 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 go. Okay, okay it's, gone. it's gone. Nope, still there. Still there. <laughs> mm, I don't know how to fix it. How about now? Check. Check. Better. Cool. Okay, you were saying about um. Uh, how she uh, shouldn't be there right now to no, you? No, like, I really don't care for her at all. I never really liked her as a character to begin with. <laughs> Because out of out of Sasha and Tyree, she was always the more hot-headed one that like didn't think about things beforehand, mm. and that's always something I just I just never liked about her, and she's continuing that trend. Yeah, just kind of like care for yourself. Well, it's, it's more like oh, I I want to self-destruct right now, and I don't care who 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 goes down with me. Okay, this isn't racist, and I don't want to seem like I'm being racist, but as I was watching her in the episode, I really thought Pousse from um, Orange is the New Black. You're racist. You're racist. What the fuck, you guys? Just because they're two black women... 
like skinny and like kind of same color uh, skin tone it has nothing to do with their skin tone it's the it's like the attitude and the voice no pussy sounds like I am pussy no, I don't know <laughs> you like my impression of pussy I have I think she's my guilty pleasure gross what are you talking about right? yeah. sorry no oh. or guilty crush excuse me guilty crush my bad no, because, like, I was watching, or I follow Orange is the New Black on Instagram, and she was, like, I don't know, saying what's up to some girl, and I got really, like, giddy when she was talking. She's you like, need, girl Pharrell. You, you need to calm down. She's like, girl Pharrell. Girl Pharrell. Girl. <laughs> girl. <laughs> Anyways, sorry, back to Walking Dead. Um... Another note, I ha- do you want to just go through what happens in the sure. episode or just let's off just my go, notes? Let's just go, over your, go off your notes. Okay, um, the priest. Because, because if, if, if whoever's listening to this already watched the episode, they don't need a recap of the oh, episode. Okay, okay, okay. Um, another thing I noticed was the priest and he, how he kind of lost faith for a quick second. I mean for a quick second. He lost his faith. Because he threw the collar off and he ate the meat. I thought he wasn't going to eat the meat. Like, I really thought he was going to just try to starve. No, he wouldn't do that. He's not a dumb... He's not a dumb guy. He well, already proved that he just wanted to survive and didn't let anyone in to the yeah. show. Oh, yeah, and he hoarded all the food to himself. He's like, screw those guys. How oh, hungry. Uh, like, like, him taking off his collar, sure, that... that, that yeah, and he threw like... it in the fire and then he ate the meat. And yeah, I was well, just like, well oh. he threw his collar in the fire because he believed that he's not worth that. He's not worth the title of priest anymore. Yeah, because, mm. because, of because of, stuff, beca- you know. yeah, because of his selfishness. Oh, uh, okay. For wanting, wanting to survive and not helping uh, the one, the, pe- the his people. flock that needed him. Yeah. I didn't even notice him throw it into the fire. And, oh, I did. Like, I was like watching him, and I was like, "Is he?" Because I was like watching everyone eat. Yeah, it's just, just like a like, three-second scene. He just does it, and like Maggie, st- and Maggie yeah, just stares, stares at him. Yeah, she, Maggie's uh, staring at him, take off the collar, and then and then he throws it in the thing, and then he eats the meat. And I was just like, oh, okay, the priest is eating the meat. And then, um, next thing I noted was um, Carol, Carol and Daryl's talk. And about Carol telling Daryl that, you know, he needs to let it out. Let it out. And kind let of it go. A little. Let it go. And then and then it showed him sitting and staring at the barn. And then he has a cigarette and he burned himself. And then he lets himself cry. And he cries. And I was just like, oh, my God, there's yeah. Daryl's crying face. It's because part of the problem is uh, nobody <laughs> wants to show weakness anymore. It's like, yeah, yeah, Beth died. Yeah, Tyrese died. No one wants to show, like, how much that's that's wrecking them. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Because, you know, but granted, everyone grieves in their own way, but they they literally all go through the, the what, the seven steps of grief? Yeah. Warning or whatever it's called. I think yeah. it's. Uh, no, I think you're right. Seven. I, I think that's. Or is it stages? Stages, yeah, whatever. Um, what else? Oh, that's all I noted. <laughs> really? <laughs> the rest I just started to watch, and I was like, oh, that's God. <laughs> end of the episode. <laughs> okay. Like, uh, honestly, nothing much happened in this episode. It was mostly just. You know, character uh, development. It, it, I, I called it like last week. I said the next episode is just, just going to be everyone trying to deal with the death of Beth for one thing, but then also with the death of Tyrese. Yeah, because yeah. they so, everyone. Because like we we that's that's what the, that's what the group needs, and that's what we got. Yeah, and I I just have to say that this <laughs> this episode finally marks the first time where they had to. Um, I, I feel like it. This episode just had some bad writing in it, because one one of the um, rules to good writing is don't tell your audience, show your audience. Uh, yeah, the exposition. Okay. Yeah, but in this episode, uh, you have Rick going off on this nice little monologue about his grandfather, explaining, "Oh, that, oh, oh yeah, he, we were all basically dead or whatever." So it's like, "Yeah, we're all basically the Walking Dead." And I was like, "You don't have to. We we know." <laughs> 
the name of the title refers to you guys walking amongst the dead. We get that. You don't have to beat it into our heads like that. Well, it's in the comic book. <laughs> Which is, I, I, I stand by that. That is bad writing. You don't need to do that. I don't know. So blame Kirkman on that one. Yeah, no, I do blame Kirkman on that one. Get it together, Kirkman. Was he the yeah. same guy who wrote the, they're fucking with the wrong people? Yeah, he's the guy who created The Walking Dead. Oh. Robert Kirkman is the guy who created The Walking Dead. Oh, okay. I don't think he wrote that line, the one that Steph is talking about. I don't think he wrote that line. Oh, they're that screwing they're, they're with screwing the wrong with people. the wrong people. Oh, they wanted to say fuck, but they couldn't. Oh, yeah, yeah, Because yeah. yeah. it's AMC. But yeah. then th- there's the uncensored version, and it's so much more badass. Yeah. What did that one sound like? It's just Rick saying fucking. Like, they're fucking with the wrong people. Hmm. Yeah. And it's so much more badass. But, um... Yeah, like... Th- that that line just really annoyed me. <laughs> like, you... Uh, it's like, just, oh, screwing. Lame. <laughs> Well, no, no, well, yeah, that that too. But I mean, when you go, we're the Walking Dead. Oh, like you don't have to say that. <laughs> like, as soon like, as it went on, I was like, "That's the name of the show." Oh yeah. no! As soon as I heard <laughs> like, that part, I was like, "There it is." As soon as he there said it, it is. as soon as he said it, I was hoping he would just look right at the camera and wink or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> look, at the ca- look at the camera and then smile a little bit. Oh my or, god! Or, or, just, or just, then Target ass goes ah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, like like Carl wakes up like high fives Michonne or something. I hate it. <laughs> it basically just ended with um, what is it with uh, Daryl's? Well, not ended, but Daryl was just like, we ain't them, right? Yeah, we ain't no what Gambino. We ain't them, ain't them. nigga. We ain't them. Whoa, calm down with that language, stuff. Oh shit, sorry. Watch your fucking mouth. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like, and Daryl's like, we ain't them. And then Rick looks at him and like, yeah, we're not them. Then Daryl looks at him and goes, yeah, we ain't them, and walks away. Like, that, was, that was so stupid. Yeah, like, again, this episode just has some bad I don't know. stuff in it, like, that just bothered it. me. I, I don't know. Like, that's supposed to be, like, a really poignant line, like, we ain't them. Like, yes, we all know you're not them. I just... Were you not listening to Rick's story? I, I don't know. Maybe they thought it was okay. I I don't know. I I yeah, like I said, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, uh, aside aside for that awful awful line, uh, <laughs> I I I just enjoyed the relative chillness about this episode. Me too. That's why I enjoyed it. I was just like, you know, we had so many episodes of just like. Crazy action, fighting, and suspense. Oh, shit. And they finally shit had an episode happening. where they could wind down. <laughs> yeah. God, get a freaking break! <laughs> uh, should, should we, should we uh, talk about Abraham and his drinking? Uh, he has a problem, and it's only going to make things worse. Well, okay, what makes you say he has a problem? Because he gets, like, belligerent drunk, and then he can't think straight. When has he gotten belligerent drunk before? Um. Okay, sorry. He hasn't gotten belligerent drunk. He just has a freaking like, attitude. Like, like the, the the entire theme of this episode is is numbness. Like everyone feeling numb. Like, uh, uh Sasha feels numb because T- Tyrese is dead, and you know she she lashes out. Yeah. Uh, Maggie feels numb because of Beth, and she's like, she kind of lashes out too, but then she mostly wants to just keep to herself and yeah. make everyone else feel bad. Yeah, I don't like that. Thanks, um, lady. So uh, Abraham's coping mechanism was, was drinking. Like, he, he's also, like, everyone is, like, pushed to the point of exhaustion that what 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 else can you do? So he just drinks. If they found it, why not just drink it? I don't know, because it's not, doesn't really seem like a good idea. Yeah, they all, they all tell him it's not going to help. And he's like, I know, but. <laughs> Anything to numb the pain. Yeah, just just for a little bit, if only for a little bit. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just granted he drank the whole thing, so now that's not a problem anymore. Oh yeah, <sighs> I don't know. It was really different, or it was yeah, it was a definite change, like you oh, yeah. guys were mentioning. Uh, from uh, ton- tonally, it was way different. Yeah, 
Yeah. I mean, it, they... it was a really good. It was just an an easy watch. Like you didn't have to be worried about anything. Yeah. Which is. Granted. Good for at, a change. <laughs> at, at this point in the show, no matter what, whenever it just shows like a long shot of one person, I feel like they're gonna get shot or something. Oh, <laughs> like, I, I like just they're constantly gonna go? feel like that. Like when it was Maggie like looking through that car by herself, was like, oh, someone's gonna pop out and kill her, or so she's Aww. gonna catch a bullet to the head or something. I thought, um, I thought a walker was gonna go up to um, uh, Daryl when he was sitting down. I thought yeah. he was gonna go then. I was worried. They're not gonna kill Daryl until like the very last season. Yeah, it's gonna piss me off. I don't want That's him to go. Is that zombie that almost bit off Rick's arm? Oh okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah. They almost bit him, but then, but then Daryl saved him. Yeah, like, like ripped last the his scalp off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't. Which wait? When did that it was, happen? It was at the bridge when. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. When Sasha breaks ranks and then everyone's fighting, Rick kills a walker like, yeah. to help Glenn out, and then there's a walker that's about to grab him from behind, but then oh yeah, yeah, yeah grabs yeah. him by the by the scalp and rips the scalp off and throws him yeah. away. Yeah. The zombie goes for his arm, and then like Daryl comes out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Daryl. Daryl. I don't like seeing him sad. Um, the dream sequence, that tripped me out. Because all I could think of was when um, when Carl put down Judith, I was like, oh my god, a zombie's gonna get Judith! That wasn't a dream. That really happened? Wait, what, what dream sequence? Y- you mean when the storm was happening? Yeah. That wasn't a dream, that was real. Really? Yes! Yes! Oh, I'm they, tripping. I thought she, re- I thought it was a dream. No, oh, it's a dream. They just all woke up because they slept after fighting. You know, holding the yeah. door closed. They're able to hold the door closed, and the zombies got destroyed by the storm. Yeah, the zombie. Oh, the trees fall. that's dang. why when Maggie and Sasha walk outside, they're all like in the trees and stuff. Yeah. Oh well, I saw that. I just thought. I thought. Oh wow. Okay, never mind. You thought it was all a dream? I used to I read really thought it magazine. was a dream. It's no, all it a dream, but the zombies are still out there. No, yeah. I thought it was a dream, but there was there really was zombies out there, but they got destroyed by the storm. Yeah, that's really yeah. Weird. yeah. So all, all all the group did was they held the doors shut so the zombies couldn't get in. Oh, okay. And then the, you know, all the trees crashing on the zombies. It was kind of like a sign of from God. And yeah. Okay. Yeah, there was one zombie specifically that I was kind of laughing at. It was the one that was hanging on the tree. Because, like, you know how, like, the, the branch was just like this, and he was just kind of hanging, like, wee. <laughs> like in the background? Yeah, you didn't see uh, that? I, oh, I was yeah, hanging. No, there... I saw that, and that that's all I was staring at was just that one alone <laughs> zombie that was, like, stabbed through a branch, and he's just, like, feet dangling. And I was just <laughs> like, who is that guy? <laughs> it's just a nameless zombie. <laughs> Um, I, I don't remember. When did they find that, uh, music box? Um, I forgot. Carl mentioned it, but I don't remember when. Yeah, like, it looked really familiar, especially when Maggie opened it and looked, looked into the... Oh, into the Beth mirror? found it. What? Beth found it at the golf course when she was with Daryl, when she wanted to get drunk. Mm, okay. Oh, I, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She find a music box. Because that was the same exact shot when, like, she opens up the music box. And, oh, and she's, like, like, slightly looking at her reflection? Yeah, Beth's face is reflected, but this time it was Maggie instead. Oh, then, okay. Yeah, so so apparently the music box stopped working, which is a sign, oh, Beth is dead, basically. Yeah. And then um, uh, apparently Daryl fixes it because there's some grime or grit, or grit, as he says, stuck yeah. inside of it. Yeah. So then uh, uh, Maggie and Sasha go outside uh, and walk yes. past all the zombies. And they look at, they look at the, um, the rising sun. Like, House of the rising sun. You know, just so they could both mourn together since they both lost somebody precious to them. They're sibling. Yep. Uh, so Maggie opens up the music box and tries to play it, but then it doesn't work. And they both they both share a laugh and then this random dude pops up. Hi, yeah, I'm and Adam. then this like, hey. fucking guy... Who oh, no, the sorry, fuck Aaron. are you? Aaron. Mr. He, and, Aaron. And he somehow knows Rick's name, so... Oh, yeah, I flipped the fuck out. When he said that, he was like, what's your leader's name? What is it, Rick? I was like, how do you fucking know that? Right. Well, granted, remember early in the in the episode where they found the all the water that said from a friend. Yeah, from a friend. And they so didn't they... want to drink... Oh, I flipped out on that part when... um, What's his name? Um, 
Eugene, yeah, when Eugene grabbed the water and he was going to test it out, take one for the team. Yeah. And then, um, thirsty. Yeah, and then <laughs> Abraham just, slapped, Abraham it just slapped it out, and I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> Dang! Yeah. I don't know who this Aaron dude is. No, but it, uh, it's it's definitely the next arc is starting. <laughs> yeah, and it doesn't sound good. Wait, how does it not sound good? Well, I just find it real. Okay. Okay, wait, 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 wait. He goes, "Hi, I'm Aaron. I'm I'm a friend. All right. What's your what's your leader's name? I just want I want to speak to you later. What's his name? Rick Grimes. Okay. So one, he knows Rick's name. Two, he somehow knows that that's Rick's group. Yeah. So and... go. So so there, there's um three there's three possible possible outcomes. One, this dude somehow knows people from Terminus who are now dead. Two, uh, he's friends with Morgan. Or three, uh, unknown variable. <laughs> okay, if there's one thing I learned from The Walking Dead is half the time when you meet someone, they're not really trustworthy. Well, nobody's trustworthy. That's the point. Yeah, and each nice person, I'm sorry, but there's always something wrong with them. I mean, him referring to himself as a friend is very is, is a nice disarming tactic, but considering what they've all been through, of course they're all gonna, they're just going to be very not paranoid my of them. Yeah, as, I mean they've uh, already there was the season one the at the CDC he pretty much wants to kill everyone, yeah. <laughs> pretending to be a friend. Yeah. Then, I'm your friend. Who else? The governor, obviously, and then Terminus. <laughs> so yeah. how do they yeah. trust anyone? I'm so- not only that, um, well, it's not really anything. It's just a simple fact that, um, he kind of looked like, no, he kind of looked like knockoff, um, or he looked like he had some resemblance to Ben Savage to me. What? Just a little bit. You thought he looked like the brother of Corey Matthews? Who also- Oh, shit, plays, sorry. Corey he Matthews. He stars in an episode of Boys Isn't it World? Ben? <laughs> Wait, which one's Corey Matthews? What's uh, his name? Oh yeah, the Ben Savage is Corey Matthews. Uh, oh, okay. What was his brother's name? Uh, um, oh gosh, what was his name? The Wonder Years. Uh, Molly, 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 Molly. Or is that Ben Savage? Oh, Fred uh, Savage. Fred, Fred Savage. Savage. There you go. Fred Savage is the brother. Yeah. Yeah. Ben Savage, who is Corey Matthews. There you go. Um. We got there, guys. We got it. Yay! He, he kind of. Podcast over. <laughs> he kind of reminded me of him, just no. a little bit. No. Not at all? Not even a little bit. Not even, like, a second cousin? No. Twice removed? I guess. Or maybe, like, I don't know. They look somewhat like they could be related. I was your brother's friend's former roommate. What does it make of? Absolutely nothing. Not that far. I Like, I don't know. Some Somewhat related. He just looked like he could be related. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm just tripping. Am I just tripping? Yeah. You can buy hair, but don't grow. You can put the time to that so. Oh, I remember that song. All I ever thought about was the boyfriend wanting her to get breast implants, and then she's like an A cup, and he goes, do, 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 and he wanted like, I don't know, double Ds. Okay, for anyone who has no idea what she's talking Sorry, about, she's referring to a <laughs> TLC song called <laughs> Unpretty. Which is what I was singing earlier. Sorry, my bad, guys. Um, yeah, I don't know. What do you th- guys think about the next episode? Did you guys uh, watch the trailer for the next no, episode? No, I, I, never wa- I never watched the previews. Oh, okay. Yeah, I saw the preview. It seems very hectic. <laughs> oh, fuck. As it always does. Next week on AMC's The Walking Dead, Rick and the gang are in deep sh- <laughs> Yeah, pretty Stop. much. <laughs> Oh god, not again. Aw, you just had a break. <laughs> Come on, that, that's how it always goes. We had a whole season of break. It's called season two. Yeah, I don't know. There's no more breaks. Yeah, this is where shit goes down once again. First, first, first Rick's sheriff shirt disappears, then his flannel disappears, then his other flannel disappears. Now he's in a raggedy brown shirt. <laughs> well, he, has, he needs a change of clothes. <laughs> <laughs> no. no more looking all nice and groomed anymore. I know. 
He got that hermit beard going. Yeah, did you see, um, you know how, I don't, oh, well, uh, Jordy, you were watching it, or Jordan, you were watching it on, um, what? You were watching it on, um, Amazon, um, but, oh, sorry, you were watching it on Sony, on the PS, whatever. Whatever, just go on. Okay, anyways, um, there was a commercial, and it showed, um, Rick in the very first episode when he meets Zombie Girl. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. And, God, he looks so clean. So young. And so, so naive young. about the world. I think he looks really good now, though. Oh, I, yeah. I, I he like looks real, yeah, he looks yeah. real good I, I, now. I, I, I like rugged Rick. Yeah. Yeah. I like Clean Rick was kind of lame. He, he got that Herschel beard going. Yeah. He got that, like, beard that shows that he's been through shit. So it's really it's, it's a turn on. Because Herschel dies. He's like, we need, we need another beard here. Yeah. yeah, he has some. Um, he looks real good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I I I don't know how the next episode's gonna go. <sighs> and I literally, liter- literally, have no idea because I didn't watch the trailer at all. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, oof. I I. I don't know. I don't know if I, they're gonna. I just, I just want Morgan to come back, so then Dude, they can get rid of another black person. Morgan in this cool outfit. I mean, his, yeah, like, mask on, and he looks like a dude from Stalker Shadow, uh, Shadow of Chernobyl. <laughs> I'm just, I'm Anyone just get worried that reference? <laughs> to see who we're. Oh no, I don't know it's it. Steam. <laughs> I'm just worried to like. I'm just worried to see who's going to go next. Um, let's I'm really a- hoping it's it's Sonequa Martin-Green. What? Or, or uh, what's Sasha? her name? Sasha. Sasha. Yeah. Uh, to go? I feel like the next person to die, it's going to be a white person. Yeah, cause... yeah, they can't kill off another black person. Yeah, then people are going to get o- upset. They'll only kill off Sasha when they get Morgan <laughs> into the group. Yeah, because then they'll have Morgan and... Because then there's too many black people and they have to get rid of one. Oh my god. I don't like that that's how it's gonna be. Out with the old, in with the new. (laughs) I don't don't like how they, like, easily replace people. They they rotate black people. Yeah, I don't don't like that. (laughs) It kind of makes me upset. T-Dog dies, Oscar joins. Oscar dies, <laughs> Michonne joins. Dude, I can't even remember Oscar. Who's Oscar? He was, he was one of the prisoners. Dude, I can't remember. Is he the one that got... <laughs> no, Bob was the one that got drunk. Oh, yeah, Oops. Bob's the yeah, one with the alcoholic yeah, uh, problem. Uh, Oscar was the one who, who gets killed when they're trying to save uh, uh, Daryl and Merle from Woodbury. Dude, I can't even remember Oscar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he wasn't yeah, that long, was it, he? It, it, no, he, was, he wasn't, but like... Uh, he could have survived, but then Rick thought one of the dudes from Woodbury was Shane. So <laughs> that dude shoots Oscar. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. I don't... So then, yeah, yeah, I don't they, remember they, him now. So he died, then we gained Michonne, and then we got Bob, and then uh, Tyrese and Sasha came, and there was way too many black people. So then they, Yeah, so they had to get rid of one. So they got rid of the prison, and then they got rid of Bob, and then... <laughs> <laughs> they rotate black people. It's so stupid, though. <laughs> then they kill Tyrese and have Noah join. Everybody hates Chris, and currently everybody hates him. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, I hope. Yeah, Sonequa Martin Green or that or the everybody hates, hates Chris. They gotta go. One of them. I don't care though. Uh, it, it, it's not. It's not. It's not gonna be. Uh, everybody hates Chris because he he's he's he just got there. True. And they, they want to keep him around because he reminds everyone of Beth. Oh yeah, really? And how he killed Beth? <laughs> yeah, it was his fault. <laughs> it's his fault. Oh, no, it's because okay. he tried to save her too. So well, like, it's both his. It's his fault for that. Tyrese is dead. Yeah, for Tyrese's death for both Beth and Tyrese. How come? Why is the kid with the mess of leg can? How can he can run faster than anybody else in that group? He oh, runs faster than Tyrese yeah. somehow. Someone po- Someone was talk. Someone <laughs> mentioned that on um <laughs> on on yeah. Talking Dead. Yeah. The podcast, they were like, saying how, like, yeah, exactly what you said. How was the boy with the 
jacked up leg. Yeah, with a messed up leg, able to outrun Tyrese. And then I was like, I, I don't know. I was like, Tyrese, like when I was watching it, I was like, Tyrese, dude, his leg is broken. <laughs> <laughs> Grab him. <laughs> a sec- second question. Why didn't Tyrese just walk into that room where he knows there was a walker and kill it? I don't know. You know, that's the second time that someone saw a zombie and just left it. Yeah, um, that, that was his own undoing. Yeah. He, Granted, that was the second one that bit his arm, but, uh, you know. Yeah, well, he, yeah, he heard a zombie. He didn't do anything about it. And, um... Somehow Noah let his little brother get past him. Yeah, and then there's only there's only the living room that in that long ass hallway. <laughs> all the doors are closed <laughs> except for that one. I don't so know. Really... He opened the door. <laughs> and then right, um... they're becoming smarter. Oh my god! I like forgot her and name. Where's all, where's all the Asian zombies? Second. That's what I want to know. Not enough in Atlanta. <laughs> Just Glenn. Yeah. Yeah, that that's actually Just, true. Did we ever hear the background story on Glenn? Uh, he was a pizza boy. Uh, yeah. okay, okay. And he lost his all his friends and family in Atlanta. In Atlanta. Mm, I'm sorry. Yep. Uh, so do we have anything else to say about the episode? No, I'm just. No, I think that's it. I'm just like really worried to see where they're gonna go with that now. Other yeah. than what I saw in the trailer that you haven't seen, but I'm just from so that. We all I'm hate, like, we all hate Tyro, Tyrese's sister, Sasha. So right now she yeah. is. Right now Sasha can find hell and then go to it. Yeah. Right now she's she's and Mr. Some Aaron stuff. is stirring up some trouble. Oh yeah, yeah, and Aaron, we I don't know what his deal is, but I mean, Mikhail knows exactly what his deal is because he read the comic, but don't <laughs> tell us. <laughs> oh, he's in the comic. Uh, Steph, the comic is a guideline for everything that's happening in the show. Yeah. Oh, well, I thought they always, like, well, except run Terminus. astray from it. <laughs> well, well, I mean, some things are different. Like, Terminus doesn't last more than three episodes. Oh, okay. <laughs> there is no Terminus. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, yeah, I guess that's really all we have to say about this episode. Um, I don't know what's going to happen next week but we'll definitely record our reactions then yeah guys and and also i called it because remember like when we when we see carl he's super tall oh yeah um he's he's matured like i said growth spurt like that's the reason why he wasn't in the first episode of the season yeah i don't know that makes sense we have to put some time between, like, when we when we see him, so the next time we see him, it's like, oh, he looks, he's taller. <laughs> do you, you want to do something like, try to make a guess on who's going to be next to die, or if anyone's going to die in the next episode from the group? No, no one's going to die in the next episode. Someone's going to die in the season finale, that's for sure. Yeah, um, I agree. It'd I, be too soon to kill another person. Yeah. Are you sure? Because they keep surprising us. I feel like it's going to be... <laughs> I feel like Glenn and Maggie are gonna die in the season finale. No, dude, both of them. That'd be so bad. No. Yeah, I, I feel like it'd be both of them because, like, when one dies, other gonna be like, "No, I don't want to live anymore." I don't. I I'm just not don't sure want them to hijack another Asian guy because that's I, I, not cool. I feel like it's Maggie's gonna die, then Glenn's just gonna give up on life. That sucked, dude. No, <laughs> yeah, no he be, can't. Be so he, depressing. He no, the he worst can't. He can't. Or, well, he never became a bad person, but... No more Asians. I don't... Uh, see, that's the problem. See, uh, okay. I want to say that they're not going to lose... Okay, you know how positive they are right now? I am terrified that someone is going to lose that positivity. No, see, And I, I don't want it to be Glenn. It'll be Sinequa Martin-Green. I don't want it to be Carol. No, you know who's going to be? It's going to be uh, Rosita Espinosa. No, I don't know. Who's yeah, that? it's going to... The, the Mexican chick. Keep the her. only Mexican chick in the whole show. Oh, the one that um, messes no, there's, with... There's oh, yeah, Mexicans, the, one... the governor, remember? Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, the, the girl that, that bangs Abraham. Oh, okay. She's going to lose it? It's, it's, it's either she's going to die or um, Tara. Or Tara. Oh, oh, yeah, Tara. I really Tara. like Tara. Yeah, Wait, she's cool. Tara's not Mexican? No, no she's white. She's, she's literally hides... You know Danny Masterson from this, that 70s show, Hyde? No, I didn't watch it. Well, 
in that 70s show, there's this dude named Hyde. He wears sunglasses all the time. He has kind of like a Jew fro. Oh, uh, yeah, that, yeah. Okay. That's his sister. That's okay, his sister. That's right guy. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, that's his sister. You know who I thought she was? I thought she was a girl from Rip Rip Girls. On the okay, TV let's channel. end the show. Okay. We've okay. met. We've met. We've <laughs> made a reference <laughs> to Rip Girls. This needs to end. <laughs> okay, you guys. Um, yeah, that basically uh, concludes this episode. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed us talk about things we pointed out and. Yeah, we'll be back next week. Woo! Yay! Okay, bye. Bye! bye. Read my articles on pixelatedgeek.com. <laughs> Have a great Walking Dead week. Also, watch my other podcast, Pixel Clicks Podcast, <laughs> on YouTube and Twitch, and other social media things. Do it, please. <laughs> we need the likes and the subscribes and follow. Get them likes. Get them likes. Like Go. it! <laughs> Like it, love oh, it, you're oh, gonna need it. Okay, we're done here. Okay, bye. <laughs>